Hi again. Um, I don't know if I should make this. I almost didn't make this, and now I don't know if I'll have enough time. But the reason why I almost didn't make it is because there's this rainstorm, and it's, um, I don't know, it might affect the internet, um, speed. So, yeah, I don't know, let's just get into the episode. Um, I kinda, I kinda pulled a fast one on you, didn't I? Because I said in the uh, last episode, uh, we might have talked about this guy, but the last episode, I mentioned this guy directly, I, yeah, I, uh, gotcha. <laughs> but yeah, today's episode is about Bird Boy. Uh, the other person that was um, interested in Wonder Woman at the time. It was like around the same time. And uh, they didn't like each other. <laughs> and I think it does actually say that in his article. It didn't even mention Bird Boy in Merboy's article. So let's just get into this. Uh, creators first. He was created by the team of Robert Kaniger and Ross Andrew. So I still don't know how to pronounce that. Is it Andrew? Is it Andrew? I don't know. But we've seen Robert Kaniger a few times now, and it seems like he's made some interesting characters. I don't know his work personally. I don't know what he um, what he worked on. What was his um, like? What run did he do? What character did he do? What title character? I don't know any of that. So yeah, but I like what I've seen of his so far. Um, so, Bird Boy's first appearance was in Wonder Woman number 144 in 1964, and his last appearance was Wonder Woman 158 in 1965. So, he lasted a year. One year. Hmm. History. Wingo is his real name. It's Wingo. <laughs> Wingo was a teenage avian who was once in love with Wonder Girl, Diana, and later with the adult Wonder Woman. It's the same character. She just um, had to change things up as she uh, got older. So, Wonder Girl first discovered Bird Boy flying around the perimeter of Paradise Island which is a no-no nowadays because they don't like men. <laughs> I don't know, was it different um, in the older days of Wonder Woman? I don't know. Um, he was immediately smitten with her, but also had to contend with his marine rival, Merboy. So yeah, if I follow that link, it probably takes me to the other one. Nope. It takes me to the one we covered last time, even though this article doesn't mention Bird Boy at all. So, let's go back and check out Powers and Abilities. Because that was the whole history. That was it. <laughs> uh, powers, Flight, um, he can fly by way of naturally, naturally grown wings. He had wings, so... He could... He could just fly, so... And he also had claws. Uh, Birdman, apparently as he is known later on... Is that the same Birdman that was the, um... Hanna-Barbera? I mean, I know DC had contracts with Hanna-Barbera, but this is obviously a DC character, so... But then again, so was the Super Friends, and they didn't all become claimed by DC in the end. How did that happen, anyway? 
Um, but yeah, that's all the powers and abilities. If we go to notes, there's um, there's the note saying that uh, including all history. Yeah, this version of Wingo, including all history and corresponding appearances, was erased from existence following the collapse of the original multiverse in the 1985 to 86 Crisis on Infinite Earths limited series. Even though versions of the character may have since appeared, this information does not apply to those versions. So, it's just saying that uh, this character is erased. Now, he doesn't exist because of the crisis event. And that's why he made the list. That is the criteria for the list. If they existed before the event, and not after, and they're cool characters, then they're worthy of being on the list. But they have to meet those standards. And, yeah. There's another note here for some reason. I don't remember there being another note, so I'm just going to read this. The character of Birdman was retired in an in-universe story which also featured creators Robert Kaniger and Ross Andrew. He's got ten appearances. There's two images featuring him. You would think they would have more images. I mean, they probably would if they went ahead and used the uh, like similar images. They probably didn't because they were like looking at the comic panel and they were like this is an image of him but we have a bunch of images like this so they, that's probably why they didn't use more images for this article and that's not really um that's kind of crappy <laughs> all right let's read the quote right above the history because uh for merboy it was it was funny the quote was funny so let's read this Wonder Girl, tell me that. Tell that stuffed sardine you're my girl. So he's talking about Merboy. So, yeah. Interesting. It's weird that Merboy's article didn't even mention uh, Bird Boy. I don't know. Doesn't really make sense to me. But I do like the character of Wingo. I think that... If I were to make a fanfiction, I would definitely include him. Some sort of story that didn't take place in any kind of canon. So, yeah. Um, actually, he inspired me to make a character with wings. And now I've actually made two characters with wings. And, like, I didn't think about making characters like that before. Like, I grew up with the uh, Fox X-Men movies, and they inspired a lot of my characters. But I never thought about... Like, even though Angel was a... Uh, main character in those movies. I didn't think to make my own characters that have wings due to mutation. This just made me think like, hey, I want to make some characters with wings. For some reason. <laughs> um, but yeah, I like Wingo. I think he's... Um, like, there's more opportunity than there is actual development. Like, you could make him cooler, and I would if I were to make a fanfiction. And, I don't know. There's growing room, and that's a good thing. That's what I like to see. There is room to improve. Not that he needs it. He's cool enough, but you could. And I think that's... That's nice, because, you know, they could always bring him back, and why wouldn't they, you know? They don't have an answer for that, and yet, they're not doing it anyway. I don't know. Alright, well, I really don't have anything else for this episode, and, uh,
why does his character block say he has no hair? He, he clearly has hair. Or is that feathers? Is that supposed to be feathers? Because that would make sense. But why are they on top of his head? I don't know. <laughs> I don't get that. Okay. Well, I don't know what else to say about this guy, so I'm going to wrap up the episode. And I'll see you uh, tomorrow, hopefully. Who do we have tomorrow? Not to straight out say it, but to give you something to expect. Who do we have? Okay. I think this is the scientist. I think he was, um, he had something to do with experimenting on animals. And I don't really remember. I think it was like a Planet of the Apes situation, but I could be wrong. It could be like, I think it was. I think it was like more than just apes and monkeys. It went to other types of animals. I think, um, yeah, he was some sort of, um, mad scientist. Something like that. I don't know. I don't really remember. But I'll see you then, and we will talk about it, and hopefully this will post on time, and the weather won't bother the, uh, upload process, and the internet speed, and all that stuff. And I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.